four of the most feared fighters in this region and a couple of the best Muay Thai fighters in the world are set to square off. Our co-main event, the first of our two co-main event bouts, will feature that man who just entered the ring, Ariel Obreu, also known as El Asesino, the assassin, a slugger to his core. He will take to the ring against the man stepping over the top rope, leaping over the top rope right now in Troy Trouble Jones out of Minnesota Martial Arts Academy in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. Troy Trouble Jones, 7-1 as a pro, six knockouts to his credit and more than 50 amateur fights before that. So a seasoned fighter in Troy Jones going up against another guy with a lot of experience and a guy who likes to brawl in Ariella Bray. Yeah, that 50-3 that amateur record from Troy Trouble Jones is really, in my opinion, the telling stat in this fight. Now, uh, Abreu can beat anybody on any given night, but if you just look at the stats, Troy Trouble Jones has the advantage there. We are ready for our official introductions. We go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action out of the light heavyweight division. This is full rules, Muay Thai. Fighting out of the red corner tonight, he's wearing the white trunks with the blue trim. Weighing in at 170 pounds. He works out at Minnesota Martial Arts with a record of seven wins, one loss. From Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, Troy Trouble Jones. And fighting out of the blue corner in our co-main event tonight, he is rocking the yellow trunks, weighing in at 171 pounds. He represents Camp Undefeated with a very much undefeated record with four wins and zero losses. From right here in New York City, give a warm welcome to Ariel El Asesino Abreu. Right now, Troy Trouble Jones performing his Y Crew Primo. You're well versed in this area. Tell us a little about a little bit about what we're seeing here. Well, basically, what he's doing is, uh, you know, traditionally it's a bit of a warm up. He's showing respect to his trainers, to his country, uh, to you know his gods, um, and you know it's just a way to pay respect before a fight. We have not seen Troy Jones in action on Friday night fights since back. Uh, in April of 2016, so more than two years since we've Kobe seen him go at it. Muay Thai four rules. You guys understand the rules upstairs, right? Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my command. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. And now Trouble Jones looks to, looks to present some trouble for El Asesino, who comes in with a 4-0 professional mark. And Muay Thai and kickboxing, same goes for... Troy Jones, he also competes in kickboxing in addition to Muay Thai. And Ariel Abreu, who seems primo, has a bad habit of finding really tall opponents. He really does. I don't know what happened. He fought his amateurs at a higher weight class, 80, 85. He's gone down to 170. To be honest with you, I'm not sure how he even makes 170. He's huge when he's not fighting. And somehow he's gone down a weight class and manages to fight taller guys. We've seen him fight guys at six foot six, six foot five, at six foot two. Troy Jones is about six one. Abreu stands at about five ten. Couple leg kicks to start things up from Trouble Jones. You're watching live Muay Thai action on Friday night fights from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Ari Alagami with Primo Bellarosa for what should be. An absolute slobber knocker, as Primo likes to say, between Abreu wearing the yellow trunks and Trouble Jones, Troy Trouble Jones, wearing the gray with black trim. Troy Jones has a really nice jab that he's working right now, but it's only going to be a matter of time before Abreu starts throwing those high hooks. Straight left hand from Jones. And a nasty leg kick. Got Abreu off balance. Jones is sharp, man. Oh, what an elbow from Jones. Monster right elbow lands for trouble. And Asesino is in trouble right now. And I needed a back it looked like from Troy Jones as Abreu was spun around. Abreu is still trying to breathe it off right now. He's hurt from that series from Troy Jones. And 
Jones just missed with a wicked right elbow try. That was a huge elbow. And the elbow. And that's going to be the end of the fight. It lands that time, and Abreu hits the deck. A first round knockout for Troy Trouble Jones. My goodness. And he split the left ear of Abreu wide open. He was throwing those elbows from the upper deck. And finally, Abreu's penchant for locking up with taller opponents catch, catches up with him. We're going to take another look at that vicious exchange with Jones slicing down like a guillotine primo with that right elbow. There was a sneaky little elbow there, followed by an elbow, and man, he hit that hard. Right to the jaw of El Watch, Asesino. he throws a left up elbow to start the series. Right there, then the knee, and then that is the end of it. Right on the corner of the jaw, Primo. Very sensitive spot, and Abreu, thankfully, up on a stool now, being checked out by our ringside physicians, Dr. Stephen Heller and Dr. Rufus Sadler. And Abreu, fully conscious now, actually has a cut on his over his left eye in addition to on his left ear. That's how crazy that elbow was from Troy Jones. I, I've seen elbows literally cut someone's ear in half before. And Jones wasn't that far from doing that just there on Abreu, who takes his first loss as a professional. I spoke to Abreu's trainer, Laszlo Ube, yesterday at the weigh-in from Camp Undefeated, and he said, listen, this fight's not going five rounds. I don't know who's gonna win, but it's not going five rounds. And Troy Jones makes, makes those words come through, come true as he hugs Abreu in the ring. That was just a vicious, well, this is on with, with two fighters like Jones and Abreu, somebody's going down. Tonight it was a brave. What a fight from Troy Jones. It doesn't take long for trouble to dispense with El Asesino. Feeling nice and loose in the ring. He'll take the victory back to Mar Minnesota Martial Arts Academy. Let's go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 47 seconds into the first round, we do have a winner by way of knockout, and that winner is Troy Trouble Jones. Great sportsmanship, as usual, Primo. Great respect shown by the winner and the loser of this fight, Troy Trouble, Trouble Jones. We didn't get to see the entire repertoire, but obviously a talented fighter. Yeah, very talented fighter. I hope to see him back on Friday Night Fights. Exciting fighter to watch. Ariel Brayu smiling for the camera afterwards. He's back feeling good. I can't wait to see Brayu fight again. And we know Abreu, he's tough as nails. He's taken a lot of punishment over the years. Right there, just a, a little bit too, a little bit more of a sharper opponent in the ring through this evening, I would say. I think it was obviously a jump up in competition. Hindsight being 2020, it might have been a little too much of a jump up, but you never know until you until you fight. As we roll on.